Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. So, wasn't that live stream fun this morning? So, we're gonna we'll live stream from uh, from that customer until that network is done. So, I hope you enjoyed it. The bugs will be worked out. The kinks will be worked out. There'll be no more, you know, narrow recording and things like that. I wanted to co cover a couple of things real quick. Uh, first of all, on the 802.11 AF adapters, uh, someone had pinged me and they were asking about the alignment, where this actually goes in line, and thought that maybe in the Quick Start Guide it would give us some guidance. And so I have the Quick Start Guide here, and you can go out and you can download this same Quick Start Guide. The only thing the Quick Start Guide tells us is uh, right here, and it tells you to step one, Connect the Ethernet cable from an 802.3AF PoE switch to the PoE in port. Step number two, connect an Ethernet cable to the PoE out port, and then connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to the PoE device. So unless this is an old QSG, um, there's the QSG itself is not telling us where in line this should be, whether it should be at the switch or at the device. So I think it would probably be easier to put it at the switch, but... I don't, what do I know, right? So um, I just wanted to follow up on that. Then the next thing, if you were on the live stream, uh, the guys from uh, Natool uh, were there with us, and they are sending me four Natools to give away. So we're gonna we'll space those out. We'll, um, we're almost at eleven thousand, so maybe we'll do. Um, I've already I've already given one away because people someone guessed the the name of the rack the brand of the rack so I am going to give that one away but then maybe we'll do like a, a 12,000 13,000 14,000 subscriber giveaway we'll give those in the tools away uh, and then at 15,000 subscribers um, the phone that I was uh, having so many problems with today we'll take this guy we will uh, freeze it in liquid nitrogen and then we will shoot it so. I've been itching since I bought that liquid nitrogen doer to uh, actually freeze something. I haven't had a, the chance yet. So what I want to talk to you about in this video is uh, a device. So is, is, uh, I haven't had my hands on this particular device. And the phone, by the way, the phone behind me, the Ubiquiti phone, is open. I am answering it uh, as people call through if I'm sitting here. Um, if I bring it up now, I missed a call at 5.48, so almost two hours ago I missed a call. That number, I'll flash it on the screen, is 309-857-0188. Feel free to give me a buzz. Uh, but on Thursday night, uh, I had a, a gentleman call me, and I'm flipping to his name here. Let's see. Josh Robinson from the great state of Indiana. Uh, and he uh, called me. And while we were on the phone, he asked me about configuring his Air Gateway LR. And I have never touched one of these. And so I told him that I first would mention his name in the video. Second of all, I would overnight one of these, and then I would do a video on it. Uh, the seal is still on this. has not has not even been opened yet. So we are going to do that here together. So... Uh, I do hear my instant messenger and stuff pinging through, so I have to pause this video, and we'll be right back. Okay, so before we open uh, the box, what we're going to do is, uh, if you go out to ubnt.com slash accessory slash air gateway, um, you can see what this is. It's a WISP customer access point, right? So it's got a little uh, RJ45 jack here. Uh, there are one, two, three, four different uh, models. But what it does is it uh, seamlessly bridges the Air Max device with Wi-Fi internally. Um, it has an, uh, says use the AirOS configuration interface to provision the gateway, monitor its configuration, restrict and enable customer management. It's got uh, high performance Wi-Fi, a sleek mechanical design. So you can see right here, it plugs right into a PoE adapter. So I'm gonna have to run and get a PoE adapter here in a minute. And then, um, apparently, you can use it to do the Wi-Fi provisioning. So, uh, we will probably be uh, dealing with uh, these tools quite a bit here in the future. And it's got a, a high-gain antenna here. And it says, installing the air gateway for indoor Wi-Fi. So, this is the little uh, video that is on Ubiquity's um, site. 
so uh, when I when he first called me and asked me about this, I said, well, I'm pretty sure that it's meant to be powered, um, you know, to, to go in line with an Air Max radio. So I don't know if we can make this guy, I bet, well, I'm not going to bet anything because I haven't actually had it out of the box yet, but I'm thinking that maybe we can plug it into the network. I don't know. We're going to find out. So that little video was going there while I was talking. You can come out and take a look at this. Um, so let's, um, let's, uh, let's get to opening this guy. So let me get my pocket knife out real quick. My unboxing pocket knife. And uh, we'll get this guy opened. So it is now open. I'll slide out the carton. It's got a little egg carton uh, in there. And it comes with the Air Gateway LR, an external antenna, a wall mount bracket, a screw kit, a screw kit, and the quick start guide. So um, here is our quick start guide. You know that I'm I'm pretty pretty avid fan of these. So it, it shows you how to plug it in, how to mount it up to the wall, how to uh, configure the device for the first time. So let's take a look at the device. Um, so here is the device itself without, and this is without the external um, antenna right here. Uh, to give you an idea, if you know how big a pebble time round is, here's my watch that I wear every day. So this is kind of a size comparison. I'm sorry, once again, I do not have a banana. Uh, for comparison, here's a pair of large fingernail clippers. So it's really not that big of a, of a device. I don't have an actual proper measuring tool anywhere uh, around here. Um, I do have an edge router X. So if you know how big an edge router X is, here is this device. So it, it, it's a cute little, it's a cute little device. Um, it's got uh, PoE LAN port, and then on that side is the RJ45, and then here is the antenna connector. It has the external antenna, so we'll open this guy up. Now, I ordered this thing from Amazon. I did not expect it to actually get here overnight, uh, but it did, and thank goodness for Amazon Prime, right? Am I right? So, uh, you know, make sure to use my affiliate links and sign up for Amazon Prime if you don't have Prime. And then we've got, uh, this must be the wall mount, which is pretty slick. Um, and then a couple little mounting screws. So, if we look at the quick start guide, what it tells us to do is to, let's see, disconnect the Ethernet cables from the Ethernet ports on the PoE adapter, connect it to your AirMax CPE device, ensure that you note which cable was connected to the PoE port and which cable was connected to the LAN port. Insert the male RJ45 connector of the Air Gateway into the Ethernet port labeled PoE on the PoE adapter. Push the two units together until they connect. So, what you're doing, okay, let me, let me grab a power brick. I'll be right back. All right, so I went and I got uh, standard uh, PoE. This one doesn't look like a gigabit, uh, so it's probably a little bit older, but it is, uh, if you've ordered uh, Ubiquiti equipment, you are familiar with this. So then it says what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to take this guy, and match it up with this guy and then they snap together like that so now they are snapped together they are now one right so check that out okay um, and real quick it didn't say to do this yet but I don't want to power this thing on accidentally without the antenna uh, hooked up to it we will do this and uh, I will at some point because we're going to be doing the building a wisp um, series at some point this will get hooked to an air max radio I just don't have one uh, ready right now 
All right, so I've got the, uh, the antenna installed. So we will plug this into the rack in the back. Now obviously I'm not going to be powering anything so I am not going to plug anything into this PoE so this won't be like a full-blown you know like a full-blown um, a, a full-blown install of this guy this is I'm just basically going to probably be able to show you the interface because I'm thinking about this and like if my internet's coming from the radio which is plugged into uh, the PoE side then you know I'm I mean, where am I going to get my, my feed, you know, if that's what this is coming from. So, we're going to plug this dude in here real quick. Alright, so... He is now plugged into the network. Yeah, I know. I just set this up back here, and I had to move a bunch of stuff around, and so. But uh, let's see here. So it's powered on. It's got uh, LED lights. I don't know if you can see that. By the way, I decided I was going to grow a mustache. So uh, be on the look for uh, Twitter and Instagram pictures with my new mustache. All right. So we got this guy powered up here. And at this point, I believe we could just connect to the SSID of uh, www.ubnt.com. Uh, just for giggles, I am going to take an Ethernet cable, an extra, and I'm going to plug this guy, I'm going to plug the LAN in, just to... Just for giggles, I do have a 10, or I have a 100 meg uh, link there. So let's uh, bring this guy down. Let's open this. Change our adapter settings. We will enable Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to reach back here and I'm going to unplug my LAN port. And of course it's going to connect, but... Uh, Let's take a look at uh, what other networks here. Show, oop. Show available networks. www.ubnt.com is open. We'll just say connect automatically to that guy. It says it's connecting, connected, and open. So then the next thing that we do is we'll minimize all this stuff. We are going to open our web browser and go to 192.168.1.1. Okay, so here's something that I did not expect. Um, I connected to www.ubnt.com, that SSID, and you know I plugged the LAN side into my network. Well, look at this. Uh, it grabbed an IP, so it's passing that through. So real quick to get you to the interface of this thing, I'm going to unplug it. We'll reboot it. Then we'll go to https colon slash slash 192.168.1.1. So we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, rebooted, reconnected. Uh, now the site is coming up. And uh, Arrow S screen looks very familiar. So we will uh, put UBNT in here, UBNT. We will select... United States, English, I agree, login. Looks like it's telling us this is our first login. And so it says, uh, an AirMax CPE has not been detected. Please verify if the gateway is properly connected to your AirMax device. And so uh, that is awesome that it can detect the, uh, the AirMax uh, CPE. Now, obviously, when we had the LAN plugged in, it was actually bridging um, the network. So... Uh, all right, so we got to set a new password. So let's see if it'll let us use UBNT, UBNT. Don't use that in production. All right, so here we can change the SSID. So we could change this to Air Gateway. I don't even, yeah. 
and we'll give it a network passphrase of let us in or else. And we'll do a next. And we will uh, verify the settings and finish that. And it tells us that we are using the default administrator password. So it does know that. So it looks like this firmware is from 2015. I know there is a 2017 firmware available for this. So um, we could go out and take a look at that. What did this thing do? Did this thing... Oh, so it reverted back to my my other uh, network because we changed the uh, the SSID on this. So we'll show our networks. There's our eight air gateway, and this is let us in or else. So we'll let this guy connect. And let's see if we can refresh this. Waiting. So at this point, we could go in here. We could change the default password. We can take a look at our wireless. So it's got a simple and an advanced mode. So we can do access point station. Wow. So this, is, uh, this has got some stuff built into it. So this is the first time I've ever used this. But I can see uh, where, as a WISP, this would be... Um, really advantageous you know if people wanted Wi-Fi um, so this is pretty cool so we could go out here we could update the firmware but uh, that's it so in order for this to provide internet you have to have internet of some kind whether you're plugged into an Air Max CPE or whether apparently we can bridge at the wire which I was not expecting so, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? So these devices, uh, even with overnight shipping, I think this guy was like 40 bucks is what it, what it cost me. Uh, of course, I'm in Illinois, and they had to charge me tax and all that good stuff. But uh, if you're looking for a really simple uh, access point, if, and, uh, if it's compatible with, uh, or if your WISP is using Air Max or not, but it appears that, you know, you could go ahead and set this guy up the way we did and then bridge it into your, you know, your wired network. So that's that's what I wanted to show you tonight. And then uh, in the next video, uh, probably tomorrow night, I'm going to talk about my the schedule and how we're going to lay these videos out. So uh, that's it for now. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down below. Uh, and, uh, you know, that keeps a few bucks rolling in. I do appreciate it. It uh, helps us be able to buy, you know, this new gear for the channel so uh, we can do these new videos. If you've got any questions about the, the Air Gateway LR, let me know. Don't forget to call the phone number. Uh, once again, please uh, give a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.